What is up, YouTube? This is your boy Jay Z Bottom Lip, and I wanted to make a quick video on something I should have made a long time ago for you guys. I know you guys ask me this question all the time, but I decided to make this video for you guys. For all those out there that wanted to know what my button settings are, here are the button settings. I also will break them down and help you understand exactly what they mean. So, first one input window. I think I made a, vind uh, a video on um, input window input window you can set to medium it works for me sometimes long uh, works for people and also short work for people um for me is how fast that you put all the buttons in a lot of times when you start playing on a higher level you're going to be os and everything so buffering becomes a thing um you know um trying to with punish sometimes can go into buffering and this is really helpful with medium um for me it just works really well large kind of or long kind of works in a way where you have a long time to put in the input so it becomes a little trickier also with short when you put them in all really quick or you only have a short amount of time in the input window it makes it hard to buffer in my opinion so medium works perfect for me um release check i'd set to off release check is not really important um unless you play on a hitbox or something like that or a fighting stick and then on top of that there's only one character that really benefits off of a uh, release check and that's usually kenshi and that's either that's if you are trying to do a, a side switch with kenshi and that's very um situational and then on top of that again like i said it's only really practical for him um there is no reason to have release check on it will actually hinder you especially if you're someone like me that like to buffer your buttons um i would definitely turn that off alternate controls uh this right here is really good for people also who fight on hit boxes or who uses analog stick to fight with i used to play with analog fight stick um, I never really played with it on though, surprisingly, but um, it still works out pretty well. But it's more accurate if you do turn it on for fight stick or if you play with analog stick. Um, input shortcuts, I put that on. I am very, uh, I have really big hands, so I can't give correct inputs every time. So I can't do it back forward. I have to slide my finger. It usually works out for me. Um, I also hit my buttons pretty quickly and I also buffer a lot. And a lot of times when you're doing stuff like that, in, um, input shortcuts off it's like eh, you don't want to turn that off it's really helpful if you have a move like havoc havoc has a move where it's like back three and then he can do slide um with uh four three so rather than putting all the buttons in all you have to do is hit back three and then four three really quick simultaneously and you'll be able to do both special move or the uh the move itself into special move which is really helpful as well um, if you want, I could probably make a video or I, after this, I'll go to the lab and show you guys exactly what that looks like. Um, button shortcut. Um, this is really helpful for people who play anime fighters or other fighting games that are used to like pressure square and X together. Um, for whatever reason, um, you could do things like that. But other than that, um, it's, it's, it's either choice. You know what I mean? There's, there's some moves in the game where like for another example, like Havoc has a move where he does back two two into L one. Um, if you want, if you turn that off, you would have to do back two two into square and X together. So in, um, button shortcuts like that are really helpful. Or it just depends on you as a person, uh, what works for you. Um, vibration is off, kind of hinders me sometimes, especially when I'm getting hit or if I'm comboing. It throws my timing off, like this little imaginary timing in my head that I play off of, which is rhythm. When I play off a rhythm and I have vibration on, it kind of throws me off in some situations. And then on top of that, it's just very annoying to hear my controller vibrate all the damn time. But that's about it as far as in um, my button settings. Um, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like for. Um, uh, I, I guess I can show you both. Um, it's funny because both these characters are here, but I'll show you Havoc and I also will show you Ryko for an example. So when you have button shortcuts on, you have this where I press L1 and I do the grab. Um, if you want, I believe you can press this button too. See how I press uh, X and circle. I mean, X and square together is L1 because it's throw in anime fighters or just throw in general. These are the two buttons. There's other buttons as well. Like when you press triangle circle together, if you press square and triangle together, so on and so forth. Um, but this one in particular is just back triangle and then L1. But if you turn it off, um, it won't work anymore. Uh, I believe. Oh, still works. See something real quick. Make sure I know what I'm talking about first. I don't want to teach you or tell you something that I don't know. The special move, uh, multiple buttons. Huh, that's funny. 
Either way, it works. So I that's funny. Either way, it works. But um, you can do L one. Like I said, you can also do uh, X and circle, um, X and square together, which is also very helpful. And then this one that that really makes a difference is this right here. Um, a lot of times I do press back X and then I slide my finger again, so it look just like this. This is me sliding my finger. Um, so I'm pressing back X and then I'm sl I'm doing back X and then I do a back forward X again. And this is what it looks like when you just do um, back X and forward X. This is what it looks like. Less button inputs. You see that? But you can also put it all in, which it looks like that. Uh, is this harder to buffer when you do this? When you put all those buttons in? But if you're, if you're walking back, right, and someone walks up to you, all you have to do is back and then forward X on, on reaction. And you get your slide. And there you go. That's literally it. So now I'm doing the whole motion. So I'm doing back X and then I'm putting forward, uh, I mean, back forward X again. And this is what it looks like. But this is what it looks like when you have less buttons. You don't have to worry about all that. And there you go. That is um, button shortcuts on. Uh, input shortcuts on. I'm sorry. Input shortcuts on. This is very important because these are inputs. And you're doing a shortcut to them. So you don't have to initially put all of them in just because you have a move that has back. So it cuts off the back forward of the slide itself. And all you have to do is just hit forward. There you go. Anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys. Um, I have a lot more coming today. I appreciate you guys watching. It's your boy Jay-Z Bottle Live. I'm out.